Hey folks, this is a quick little image trace tutorial and reminder on how to use it in Illustrator. Uh, image trace is essentially like getting Illustrator to do our drawing for us. It's very cool. So to do that, we start a new file. Now my suggestion is you make it the size of the actual finished product you're going to do, but that's up to you. But the color mode, choose RGB color. Make sure it's done. It's really important. And the raster effects need to be high. That'll open up your file, but we're now wanting to insert the image that we're going to trace. So to do that, we just go File, Place, and we find the image we want and drop it in. At this stage, we need to resize. Just make sure you're on the arrow tool to do this, right? Um, but you grab the corner and move it up so it fits onto your artboard. And now we're ready to do the image trace. So to do that, you go up to Object. And in the object menu, right down the bottom, you'll see this image trace and we choose make, not make and expand, we choose make. This will do it thinking it's a black and white logo. So we want to change that. So to change that, we click into properties panel instead of layers. And in the properties panel, we wanting to look at the image trace parts and you can see it's preset is default at the moment we need to click the little box beside that which then gives you all these other awesome options and the important ones here the mode needs to be color then after that you can play with the other thing so the colors are in three because there's only three colors in this one the paths are left as is i played around with the corners and noise a little bit it seemed to work quite well for us and I did one other thing as I chose ignore white because then it didn't count the white as a layer, which worked pretty neat. When you're done in the right hand side again, you'll see at the bottom there there's expand. You click expand and voila. When I click to the layers, you'll see there's actually three layers now, each is vectors with fill and strokes. So let's change our fill and strokes to match for laser cutting now. So to do that, with them all highlighted, we go back to properties and we're going to adjust the fill and the stroke. So first up, let's do the stroke. The stroke, we've turned the fill off here, so to transparent, and the stroke just changed to 0 0.01 millimeters. That will change it to, it'll revert to 0 0.028 points, but it is 0 0.01 millimeters that you enter. Now for all cut lines, remember cut lines are red, RGB red for cut lines. So that's red up full and green and blue down. All right, so, and the stroke, you can see it's 0 0.028 points uh, or 0 0.01 millimeters. Um, and that would be cut lines now. If you wanted engraved lines, you just make it RGB blue. And if you wanted to etch it, okay, rest the etching, my suggestion would be to turn the stroke off and turn the fill to black because black is etch. Now that's great, that's for images, but what about text? So if we want to change this text to be vector text, it's just a little bit different in that in this one, you go to the type menu and you choose create outlines. That then changes it into vectors, which are really cool because now you can start to play with them. You can, form, you can uh, change your text how you want. So you can start to edit things, change text around. Really, really neat. So I hope you found that useful. It's a little bit of how to use image trace in Illustrator. Woohoo!